Hey, this is Bob, uh, and I'm here re-recording things that I was recording uh, because it's kind of it's harder than I thought uh, to be recording this video. But uh, I'll try to summarize it real quick uh, because what I was saying was that I want to focus on the aftermath of. Uh, the event that happened on Friday in Houston, Texas, um, Travis Scott's Astro World Astrofest festival, um, and um, I, you know, I found myself to be uh, sad and uh, fe feeling uh, upset, uh, obviously, and even even right now in the video, for some reason, it's <laughs> tougher than I thought. But the reason of what I would like to talk about the aftermath, not necessarily why. Uh, it happened and what happened and who is to blame um, you know about the event yeah I want to focus on the aftermath because there is a like even after a wedding let's say there is a next day after a tragedy there is a next day how what what what's next basically um, and about what why and who is to blame a lot of people are talking about it right now anyway I'm sure you know about this situation. If you don't, I'm pleased to hear that I'm your number one source, new source. But uh, I'm sure you uh, you got the information already from somewhere else um, that uh, what happened at Travis Scott's um, uh, concert. To be quick and like to not to not be perceived as insensitive, uh, I of course should talk just a little bit about the event. That um, I just uh, would like to say that. Um, you know, no one should be dying at a concert and um, life is not a video game because there is no replay button. In the video game, like for example, in GTA, right, uh, you see wasted, you see mission failed uh, messages on the screen and then you get to redo it again. But uh, unfortunately, like in, in real life, you, you know, eight people who died, um, you know, young people, there's no coming back to this world, unfortunately. There's no, like, replay button. It's just so tragic. It's, like, mind-boggling. It's it's hard to comprehend that. Uh, that these people went there to have fun, but then there's, like, they are no more. Like, they don't exist. And it's such a tragic like abruption not only for them but also for the for their loved ones you know what i mean uh, their loved ones are emotionally scarred for life no nobody after what happened to their loved ones will will live the same way uh again like uh, it's it's going to be a very traumatic experience for for them and you know again like the, those people who lost their lives it's just unbelievable it, it, it's it, it's never worth like no no song you know no music is worth dying for you know and uh i mean nothing is worth dying for to be honest with you i just feel sorry for them for for these people and uh, for, for people who you know didn't die but they got injured as well and like everybody everybody who was involved in that concert um at least emotionally even if physically let's say nothing happened to them gladly emotionally they are traumatized and i'm i'm pretty sure they're not gonna go to a concert ever again um and um the the aftermath of all that i want to focus on it's not only about that night right like uh, uh you know other sources will be talking about how um uh, this happened that happened uh, okay like there's more investigations more news uh lawsuits you know what's gonna happen to travis scott when it comes to lawsuits right um like the people will be talking about that like the details about that but i'm here to talk about you and me uh for example and travis scott three people right now in conversation you and i as music consumers uh as travis scott fans uh again i don't know 
specifically if you are a Travis Scott fan, but you probably heard a song or two, I'm assuming, if you're on this channel. Um, uh, I'm a Travis Scott fan, and it is important. Like, Travis Scott is important for me. Um, and Tra I love Travis Scott's music, and uh, he is one of my favorite artists of uh, um, this generation. But it, it's, it feels wrong to say that at this point because, um, you know, who is to blame? Uh, to, to, to put it shortly, uh, I, 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 I'll get a clip from Sean C's video with which I totally agree with. Horrible crowd, horrible venue, horrible organizers, horrible jurisdiction, horrible response from the artist in my opinion. So there is Travis Scott's part of blame for sure. Um, he is responsible, uh, he is partially guilty, along with other people. And then, like now, it's it's very hard to listen to Travis Scott music. Uh, the, there were two songs that dropped the other day, just like, same day, basically, with uh, when um, the Astral Festival was going on, just a bit earlier. And, uh, you know, at that time I was listening to uh, those songs and I liked them and I liked, I enjoyed um, the second track more, it's called Mafia. Uh, there was also a J. Cole feature, which was surprising, but that song is hard, like this, that song is really good. But um, after the discovering about that event, you know, what happened there, I was not able to listen to Travis Scott music for a day or two, I was not able to, like, it, it, like that weight of uh, that trauma, right? Uh, of, uh, of that horrible event was definitely influencing me about how I feel about his music, Travis Scott music. Like, I didn't want to touch that piece of art. Um, and, but I, I found the courage to do so. But, um, and, and I mean, still, the songs are good. Um, you know, the first one is decent. My face is good to me. But, um, it's just, you still have that thought in your head that, damn, like that, that, that tragedy that you had, you have those events in your head still. Uh, I mean, again, like the not many days passed and uh, history shows that uh, people move on, you know, something happens, shocking event, horrible event. Uh, one week after it's no longer a thing, people live like it never happened or anything like that um you know uh they're they're able to do that in most cases uh, but i think what's important with this uh particular uh event is that um i think travis scott is not going to be able to recover from that um his life is gonna change forever and not only musically because I don't know what the hell now he will be recording um, especially due to um, you know like that feeling that pressure of like okay like uh, people know you know this happened and um, they probably gonna look at me um what i do next right and they, they he will try to maybe play play on that like not play on that but like think of his next move what he should be really putting releasing next as a song if he gets to even release something right and like there is no good answer it's just gonna be well is it gonna be a sad song now like sad travis I don't, I don't know, like, uh, talking about the laws, I, I'm not sure, like, w what in this situation can he do, to, uh, like, from a PR, star from PR standpoint, um, that will be, you know, like, looking good, maybe, or I don't know, like, he is losing, um, the battle, like, when, like, um, this PR battle, let's say, uh on when it comes to his fans when it comes to like public i i don't think he, he can salvage himself from this unfortunately uh, or fortunately i don't know like i mean 
again, I, I feel bad for the guy anyway, even if, um, you know, there is his fault for sure. No denying about that. Um, it, it's just the whole situation is like came out of the blue. Now, now like you, you, your life has changed. My life has changed as well. It's not only directly those people, it's millions of people. If you think about it, uh, life has changed because now a lot of people were going to be cautious or oh, whether they should go to concerts or festivals. You and I, for example, again, as music fans, um, like, I don't even know how to feel about Travis Scott music anymore. I cannot right now, at least go back and like, let's say, listen to the goosebumps and like, I feel like goosebumps every time, yeah, like, and have fun to it. Like, no, like, it's just not happening. You know what I mean? And, and, um, how do you recover from this? Like, when it comes to Travis Scott again, not only he, he might get to trouble, like to such a trouble that, you know, he will be jailed for years. He, he, he like, it can also happen like that with all of these lawsuits, uh, judge can plead him guilty for years of prison. Not only that, but like his legacy can be easily ruined. Yes, the songs are up until this point are great, but like, are we, are we gonna listen to that? Let's figure this out. Are we going to listen to Travis Scott from now on? Like, is it, is it gonna be a thing? To answer this question, I went online and because it's, it, and I didn't, I wouldn't say I did as a research, but I just Googled a few things and I found this. What do we do when the art we love was created by a monster? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, going to tell you, okay, you should do this. I'm going to give you options, just like that article. That article didn't give me a clear answer. It gave me a few options that uh, is appropriate to each individual, how they feel. Um, I uh, chose one, I guess. But uh, the option number one is basically <sighs> separating the art from the creator, right? Separating it, yeah. Not think about it as unison. Separate it like standalone piece. As a standalone piece, you know, Travis Scott music, it's good, right? And. Even when I, I mean, before this event, I, I was not really like invested into Travis Scott, like his personality or what he does that much. I more loved him because of his music. And I, when I listen to his music, I don't think of about like, oh, Travis Scott, what he is like, right? And, um, and, um, like if you want to go with this route, like you can, you can try to, not think about the events and not think about what happened right um and just focus on the um art on the music oh i i enjoy this music i will just keep listening to this music right right now i'm not capable of doing that i'm still under the influence but you know as i said the uh, time time can heal and time goes by. Like, uh, for example, nobody thinks of uh, Ariana, like Manchester bombings, right? When it comes to Ariana Grande, we just listen to Ariana Grande, we like her. And the only difference is definitely that Ariana Grande probably couldn't do anything about Manchester bombings, right? She didn't make it worse. She didn't make it better. It was not like, there was no guilt on her part, right? But there is guilt on Travis Scott. Uh, part so that's the difference so that's why it is harder to to go with number one for me right the, the option number two is to feel that like intersection uh, unison of okay you oh we we do acknowledge that this art was created by this person and if we go with this one, we're totally fucked because <laughs> like we, the Travis Scott, like we, we will not be listening to him ever again, I think, <laughs> because if we're going to go with this one, you know what I mean?
like the second option was like okay we 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 see that this is a unison like a whole package right the artist and the art so if the artist did something wrong we don't fuck with him anymore we don't we don't we should not, we should stop um promoting him and and uh, uh admiring him and listening to him right uh, giving money to him the third option was however is to like uh, just go with your emotions is uh acknowledging that you feel this way about the artist right and uh and uh but also acknowledge that you like this piece of music right and um I don't remember the conclusion. <laughs> I don't remember the conclusion. I don't remember the conclusion to this uh, argument. But what I'm saying is, I think, like, what what I was able to do if um, is that I was able to listen to uh, Travis Scott's song, new songs, uh, a couple of days later, right? So, and there was a feeling of for me, right, of, uh, okay, yes, I acknowledge that this fucked up thing happened and acknowledging of, I like this song. So basically what I got was I listened to the song with a, <laughs> with a bad emotion with it, but I still listened to it and, uh, was able to, um, got, got, get through it, I guess. But again, um, Every single person will be, uh, their experience will be different. So your experience might be different. And um, it, if you totally will stop listening to Shadow Scott, I will understand it. And, um, and there will be basically a divide, a division of two sides. Okay, we should be, we should not listen to Shadow Scott ever again. We should stop promoting him. We should stop listening to him and the other one is like maybe let's try to forgive him and try to listen to or or even if i'm not forgiving him as, uh, as i think is he's a shitty person i still like his craft and i will listen to it as a standalone piece which is pretty hmm <sighs> I cannot say it. I cannot. I don't have a word for it. But it is. It is a pretty big deal when it comes to Travis Scott's career, because now not everybody will be listening to him. It's like Thanos snap his fan base. Fifty percent is gone, pretty much. Now he he he's not gonna be that popular anymore. Anymore probably. He will certainly lose his brand deals. People will not be uh, hyped about uh, collaborating with him. Not like people, by people I meant uh, in that situation, like companies. Like, you know, no more like McDonald's, Travis Scott meal collaborations or anything like that. You know what I mean? So it's tough. And like for Travis... I, I, I think it's. I honestly don't know what's, like how he can survive, this. I, 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 I cannot see this. I don't know. I think it like this is, the Friday night. After that, like this, his life is just never gonna be the same. And it's only gonna go worse, I think. And um that nosedive is gonna stop only years later when he will stop paying, well, he will finally pay off his, um, for his punishment. And maybe from that point, maybe there will be a rise, but I don't know when it comes to career, he, he will be on, uh, even, even if like it's the rise is not going to be about his career. It's, I think it's going to be more about his, like maybe, um, people, people accepting him, forgiving him, 
uh, you know, when he will get punished, like by the judges, you know, or whatever, like he will have to pay a lot of money. He will uh, have to do a lot of, uh, it's horrible. <laughs> I deeply feel sorry for um, the people Right, but I also feel sorry for Travis too. It, it, it's just, I wish this uh, day never happened. It's, it's madness. It's just one event changed the trajectory of Travis Scott's life. Like, that's for sure. Uh, again, I don't, like, my mind cannot see at least. Maybe reality will be different you know like reality saw i reality already showed me that nothing is impossible <laughs> but in my mind i don't see like especially with the cancel culture and stuff i don't see how travis can survive this to be honest with you so yeah let me know in the comments below what you think about the situation uh and what do you think was gonna happen to travis scott uh are you going to be listening to his music or not? What do you think about this? Uh, which stand you're taking? Are you going to be listening to music uh, by Travis Scott or not? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to hear your uh, thoughts about this. Um, well, I guess this is it. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel and um, stay safe, my friends. I'll see you guys in the next ones. Bye.